Hey there, welcome back to our channel. If you caught our last video, you know we embarked on an exciting journey to set up a complete voice over IP telephonic system using free PBX operating system. If you missed that video, no worries. You can check it out, the link in the description below. In our previous installment, we covered the crucial first steps of downloading free PBX, successfully installing it, and navigating through the initial configuration. We laid the groundwork, and today, we're diving even deeper into this incredible telephony solution. But before we jump in, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell, so you never miss out on tech tutorials, tips, and live demos. Without any further ado, let's start the video. Once you've completed the installation, and the basic configuration of the web client, Click on the free PBX administration option from the main menu. A login window will appear. Enter the username and the password which we configured for the admin user in the previous video. After logging into the free PBX web client, a welcome pop-up will appear welcoming you to your new free PBX server. Your machine is almost ready to go. Before you get started, you need to activate the server. To do that, click on activate. Here, you need to enter the active email address from the Sangoma portal. If you don't have an account on the Sangoma portal, don't worry, follow along in the video to create an account. Open any web browser and search for the Sangoma portal. Then click on create a Sangoma user account. Enter your email address and click on continue. Then create a password and click on continue. Here, user has to fill out the form for the use of the free PBX and also accept the terms and conditions by selecting the checkboxes. Then click on sign up. Once you click on sign up, you'll receive an email to verify your account. Jump to your email and verify the account by clicking on verify email. Once your email is verified, you will be automatically logged into the portal. Here, you'll have multiple services related to the Sangoma portal, but we only need free PBX. Go back to our free PBX server web client. Enter your Sangoma portal email address. Wait for the data to load and enter the same password as the Sangoma portal login credentials. Fill in the details according to your requirements, then click on Continue. Enter your location and click on Activate. Once the activation is completed, you can skip all the pop-ups. After bypassing the pop-ups, the system will conduct a module update, as depicted on the screen. Scroll down and choose either Update Now to initiate the update immediately or Skip to postpone the update for later. Now, let's proceed by selecting Skip. 
Let's start the configuration of the server by selecting the language, then click on Submit. The Sangoma Smart Firewall is now enabled. Click on Continue. Then click on Next. And finally, click on Yes. Once you're on the home screen of the web client, click on Apply Config and wait for the process to complete. Once the process is completed, you'll be able to see the system overview. In the system overview, you can observe various parameters of the free PBX server. As basic live system information, includes essential details like the server's host name, operating system, and version. System statistics, presents key performance metrics such as, CPU usage, memory usage, and disk space utilization. Uptime, indicates how long the system has been running continuously since the last reboot, providing a measure of system stability. Last system reboot time, specifies the timestamp of the most recent system restart, aiding in tracking system changes and updates. Load average, represents the average number of processes in the system's run queue over specific time intervals. It reflects system activity and load. Live network usage, displays real-time data on network usage, showcasing incoming and outgoing traffic, helping monitor network performance, etc. may include additional relevant details, such as active user sessions, disk I.O. statistics, or any other pertinent information. While we won't delve deeply into each aspect due to time constraints, these parameters collectively offer a comprehensive snapshot of the free PBX service status. Navigate to Settings and select Asterisk SIP Settings. Here, if you want to change the local and external IP address for the server, according to your requirements, you can change them. However, I won't be changing any IP addresses. Now, we need to create extensions to make calls. To do that, navigate to Applications, then select Extensions. Here, users need to add extensions according to their IP telephone availability. As a demo, I will add two extensions, and then we will configure and test the live calling demo. To do that, click on Quick Create Extensions. The extension creation wizard will appear. Enter the extension number, for example, 101, type the display name or username for that particular extension. And optionally enter the email address of the extension user. Once done, click on Next, and there's no need to change any settings in step 2. Just click on Finish to create the extension. Similarly, you can create multiple extensions. Up until now, I hope you understand the complete configuration of the free PBX server. You can explore more on this server. Here, I am demonstrating the basic setup so that you can easily set up your IP telephonic system without spending any money, totally free of cost. In the next video, we will make the live demonstration and we will see the configuration of the IP telephone to synchronize with the server and work with the created extension. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.